What is up guys, it's Jeff, and just this past Monday, we saw Apple release the second beta of iOS 12.2. We did in fact miss a video on that release, so now we'll just quickly go over the new features and changes that were made within that beta, and then also give you our full review on how this beta has been treating us throughout the week. Let's take a look. This video was sponsored by our friends at MacPaw, the creators of Clean My Mac X. This program will clean up, protect, and speed up your Mac without any hassle whatsoever. If you want a free download of this program on us, click the link down below. Okay, so first thing, let's go over the new features and number one has to be the new Animoji that Apple has added. We are seeing four new Animoji, which is the shark, giraffe, warthog, and as well an owl. So those are really awesome additions to Animoji. I hope Apple continues to make these because they are a tad bit different from regular emoji and obviously a bit more fun to use. Apple did in fact up their, their Memoji customization just a tad bit more as well, so if you have an iPhone Phone 10 or higher with this accessibility to access an emoji and memoji, you should definitely go check those out. Next up is a new AirPlay icon when connected to a mobile device via Bluetooth. Instead of the little two bar icon that we previously had, we actually have a totally new AirPlay icon. Previously with the two bar style icon, it would animate and then they changed it to remain a solid blue color. But with this new logo, we now see a really cool flashing animation going throughout this new AirPlay logo. Now more on AirPlay and its animations and when you go into the music app and then down to the AirPlay menu, there's a new animation for opening and closing this menu. It's a really subtle change here, but it's still just a bit more smooth than what we saw previously. Also in this update, users who are on the AT&T network will now see a 5G E network instead of LTE. Now this is not actually 5G technology, AT&T has yet to actually release that, but this is a new 5G E signal that is meant to be a step above LTE. So think of it more like a virtual 5G instead of the actual 5G technology. We still have yet to see when Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and all those carriers release 5G networks. Okay, so those were some of the new features that came with beta 2 of iOS 12.2. And honestly, I am still looking for a bit more, but the big one that we haven't seen yet is new wallpaper. So stay tuned for more news on that. It will very likely come in an official version of iOS 12.2 and not the betas, as that was the process with iOS 11.2. Now onto my experience so far on beta 2 this past week and honestly, I'm still not liking the iOS 12.2 betas just yet. Obviously, there's a ton of new features and changes to check out and there has been a slight performance boost but the battery life is absolutely killing me here. And this poor battery life isn't necessarily all with third party apps. It's just been system processes that are running in the background. So I'm not necessarily complaining here because we are in fact on the betas right now, but it's definitely a concern moving forward and I hope that Apple addresses this issue before an official release. So for any of you guys asking, should I update to the betas right now? Yes, go ahead if you wanna check out the new features, but just beware that battery life may be a problem for you. Now, about the slight performance boost that I did mention just a few moments ago, we are definitely seeing a better performance in iOS 12.2 betas. I noticed it coming from the iOS 12.1.3 update and now onto beta 2 of the iOS 12.2 betas, and uh, definitely everything feels a little bit more the same as beta 1, very snappy and very smooth. But what was really interesting to us was we did see an 11% performance decrease in the second beta here versus the first in regards to the GPU or graphics performance. Given the performance visually hasn't actually gone down, I'm going to say that Apple leveled out the performance and stability and found a good balance point here with this second beta. So that was the kind of deliberation on battery life and performance. Now, the next question may be, are there any serious bugs? Well, yeah, of course there are definitely little bugs here and there, but the most notable ones are these for me. 
One is that the charge level always remains on my lock screen, even though I'm not currently charging my device. Respringing my device and a restart did not actually fix this issue, so I'm assuming I'll have to wait for beta 3 to see an actual fix. The other notable bug that I've been experiencing is notifications not coming through, which is obviously very frustrating. This is more on the iMessage side of things where I won't see any notifications, nor will I get a vibrate or ding when a message comes through. So that's all with that, but overall very small bugs compared to what we've been seeing with previous betas this past year, mostly due to the connectivity issues that users have been experiencing within the betas and also even within official releases. So guys, that was beta two. Hopefully we see some more new features in the coming betas and maybe even some new wallpapers as well. I'm super excited for those. Let me know in the comment section down below if you are as well. Obviously we still have some work to do here in regards to battery life. So hopefully beta three solves that issue and we can start moving faster towards an official release in the next month or so. Anyways, guys, if you want to stay up to date on all of the information regarding the betas, make sure to get subscribed and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as we release our content. Also, make sure to leave a comment down below if you have any questions about what we talked about. I'd be happy to answer those. So guys, thank you all for watching again. Stay tuned and we'll catch you in the next video.